Hello everybody, I'm Majay Luma, welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 14, episode 17. Last time we left it, we had a psychic ship, we had popped it. There is one centipede and one scyther out in the open. We're going to need to deal with them pretty quickly, otherwise they're going to be affecting everybody's moods. I think Samantha is actually back out of her mood. Uh, she was having a bit of a funny day gonna bring her down here see if she can't do a bit of sniping uh, one thing worth noting is if you can get the crashed ship part down to less than 50% health it has to be below 50% health uh, then actually the guys will charge your base so I'm not really sure that's a great idea at the moment uh, Isis is one of our animals I need to restrict them to animal area one I believe I did set that up otherwise if she wanders over here uh, it's probably not going to be very pretty. Okay, so if we come down here, Samantha does have a sniper rifle. Pretty good range. But it doesn't seem like she's in range of anything here. Can we, we can fire at the ship. That might attract the other guys, actually. Oh, she can miss the ship. It'd be nice if the centipede or something came around. There we go. Look, we can fire at the scyther now. Let's do that. Come on, Samantha, you can hit him. He's now going to start shooting back, which is okay. He shouldn't have much more chance to hit me than I have to hit him. Come on. There we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Didn't actually kill him, which is actually good, because as I said last time we fought these guys. Yeah, modifications. Add Bill. I can remove both his left and his right blade, which will be incredibly useful, if not worth lots of money. You can actually install them as arms, and they work as a pretty good arm replacement. Uh, I think better than the metal arm anyway. Uh, and also, what I like to do with them is put them on my guys, which are pretty good at shooting as they give them a melee bonus. So if anybody ever comes up close, oh, for melee with my... It's almost like giving them a melee weapon as well as a gun, which is good, really. Samantha, don't get closer to it. That's just really stupid. I know you're on fire, but... Right, get out of there. Run. This guy is just wandering, actually. That's kind of fine. You know what? Fire at him. See if you can hit him before he actually notices that you're there again. Nope. In that case, you know what? Fire again. We hit him. Twice. Let's get out of here. And actually the fire's going to get... Yeah, look at that. He's missed. That's good. Just having one more shot and then I think I'm going to have to run away because if he does hit her again there's no guarantee she's going to stay stood up so let's do this and let her wander back home for some treatment quite successful took this guy out uh, this guy fifth body ring gunshot from a sniper quite a lot of damage I mean for one shot that's pretty good so Jax what are you doing do I not have you guys restricted I thought I did only the animals. Jax, stop. Jax, stop. Go home. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Yeah, no, sorry, Jax. But that was pretty silly. It's because he's got his new metal arm, I suppose. Yeah, steel arm. Pretty happy with that. So what I might have to do is remove that and replace it with one of these scyther blades, maybe. Could be interesting. Uh, can I see... Uh oh the animals are dying. Oh no, squirrel's on fire. Oh no, that guy is going to maybe set the scyther on fire? Hmm. Could be worrying. Mass fire is never a good thing. Right, Jude, are you feeling better? I think you are. If you come over here... And there goes another squirrel. Coming, Jude. She is. Maybe come up to here, look. We can possibly... Let's come around the other side now, look. Ah, yeah, yeah. 
Can you fire out of range? So, but if you come over here, there you go. Ah, okay. Not good. Not good. Jude, run around a bit. Right, get out of it. It's just going to fire at you again. There we go. Now run away again. Whew, that was good. Fire. Hide in room. Ah, run away. Not quick enough. Put the fire out, dude. Run around a bit. Come on. No, he fired too quickly. Are you not on fire? You are burning. Run around. Don't just stay in one place. There we go. Get out of it. There we go. Excellent. Fire. You actually hit him. You haven't actually hit him, I think. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, great. Now she's on fire. Right, everybody that can come down here. We need to get this thing dealt with. don't want Jude dying anywhere either. Uh, what I will do is actually add that to home zone so that... Oh! There's, there's fire. Uh, sorry, there's, there's rain. That's actually fine. Guys, come on. Get down here. Oh, da -da -da. Jude, are you still on fire? It's gone out. Excellent. So, I think... Uh, Stevenson, you only have a pistol. You rescue Jude. Everybody else is going to show up. Having everybody stand together like this is probably a really bad idea. Irma, sort of come here. Kimi, yeah, you can go here. Kiko, you're actually melee, so you know what? Go home. Lumi, yeah, come here. Who else is melee? Sleazy, you're melee. There's, there's no chance I'm meleeing this thing. Uh, Samantha, that's not Samantha. That's Samantha. You can sort of stay back here. Irma, you also can go home. So. Firing at Kimmy, just watching for targets. <gasps> Ooh. That's okay. Still a bit too close together, I think. Kimmy, come up like here. Shouldn't be able to hit everybody, that's the thing. Excellent. Come on. Come on. Who hit Charlie's? He's lost his leg. Oh, what a surprise. Everybody gets their leg shot off. Uh, I think it was Samantha. And she should know better than that, to be honest. Um, Stevenson, watching for targets because you're... Uh, yeah. Come down and rescue Charlie's. Just be careful of Samantha's bullets. Because she's kind of inaccurate. Okay, this is going better than I expected. I think it helps that it's raining because the fires aren't getting as out of control as they could be otherwise. Come on, let's get him finished. Uh, Kimmy did just get hit but she should be okay again with the rain and everything. Really, we not taking it down yet? Come on Kimmy. Really? Right, Kimmy, get out of it because you're pretty horribly injured. Jax, you still just stood up here. Okay, everything's fine. Uh, undraft, everyone. Actually, no. Jax, if you... I'm going to need you. And Lumi, you can also stay drafted. Samantha, uh, Stimson's coming to heal, uh, to rescue Charlize, I believe. 
But Kimmy, you could maybe. You're not a hauler, obviously. That would just be far too helpful. Um, we're going to want to shut down this guy. Yeah. Uh, fire at the ship. Excellent. Terrible mood. It's okay, you'll be fine. Get in there. Almost, and boom. Lovely. Oh, AI core is good. Worth lots of money. We also need one to build our ship when we get to that stage. So, if we need the money enough, I may just... Uh, Jax, why can't I tell you to prioritise this? That's odd. Should be able to right click and tell him to prioritise working on that, but I can't. He's only moving, it's not like he's going anywhere specific. I don't know. No worries, it's fine. So this sniper rifle here, oh, poor condition, 7 uh, I think we're going to probably let that wither away to nothing. But the Jude will probably come and grab this rifle when she's up and about. She is a bit burnt. Pegler got a bit burnt. Oh, I think it's going to be okay. Everything will be fine. Uh, so who else got their leg shot off? Chalice. Yes, so Shalice here will actually need a new leg, which means we actually need to build one. Volcanic wind. Oh, great. So, actually, we've currently got Toxic Fallout, which started one day and 11 hours ago, so not that long. But we've now got a Volcanic Winter as well, since seven hours. <sighs> which means, I think... Cools things down, okay, so it's minus five outside. That's irritating. It's the middle of... Well, no, it's the beginning of fall. It's the beginning of fall. We have actually outlasted our growing season. So anything now would have been a bonus anyway. I think I need to give a general harvest order for anything that can be harvested. Food-wise, we didn't get any hay out of it, but that's fine. I suppose we may have to make kibble hide in room yes so volcanic winter and toxic fallout at the same time is pretty mad dude you are removing your shirt oh, i suppose you're going to put a better one on yes there we go that's good that's fine still looks like you're pretty naked to me why you just got pants on trousers hmm just took your shirt off for some reason suppose I ought to... Have we still got a bill for shirts? Button down shirts. Let's move that up. Because if it's going to be pretty cold, we're going to have problems with that. And prioritise this. Yeah, that's fine. And I need to put a bill for a peg leg. There we go. Poor mood. Samantha, really. Well, learn to live with it. Right, buffalo leather button down shirt. And now a cold snap. Right, one thing I really do need to do actually is get heaters in the rest of these rooms, otherwise, people are going to freeze to death at night. Where is uh, temperature? There we go. Heaters. So we'll put those up here. Oop. And while I'm at it, I may as well put plant pots in as well. We'll make those out of wood because wood is abundant. Uh, there we go. So it'll be a bit prettier for people and lovely. So Tigress should now be on her way to being recruited. Did change it properly. Yes. Uh, minus 13 outside. Jude computer is fully healed. Excellent. I was going to have you come pick up uh, your this survival rifle, I believe, because the sniper rifle is basically done for. Uh, <laughs> wolves. Yes, consuming corpse. Fine. I don't mind.
food wise we're at 322 so I'm not quite at my desired amount of food that I wanted before the winter but you know what I think we've still got some opportunity to grab some stuff uh, mental break berserk Samantha yes well just nobody go in there we should be fine okay yep yeah. okay Lumi doesn't seem to oh, okay yeah that's fine we'll just let her work on it get over it sort of thing shouldn't that <laughs> oh, she's gone outside that's even better actually lets everybody able to start working let's get these peg legs there's an unfinished one there with work left three why did you start a new one? Samantha has collapsed. Of course she has. She needs to go to bed. Have some food first. Okay, fine. Jax, did you finish this? Work left six? You didn't. There's work left three on the other one. There we go. Can we... Why would you work on a new one? Ah, oh, because Kimmy was doing that one. So, get Kimmy. Prioritise this quickly. Uh, right, so Charlize needs a leg, left leg, there we go, meant to break hiding room. We will allow our colonists to pick up this pig, I don't know how it died, I don't really care, but it's in our borders, in our uh, compound, and again, this Ubex ram here just seems to be dead. I suppose the animals are probably dying of toxic fallout so actually that's gonna be fine Charlize died what you killed Charlize during the operation are you joking Samantha you were installing a peg leg <sighs> you managed to cut her brain Oh no, that's not a surgical cut, but still. Itch. Uh. Man, yeah. Right, so another sarcophagus. Charlize has not been with us for very long at all, so we... Maybe just a wooden one? Yeah. We've got enough limestone, we'll do a limestone one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so these guys actually extreme toxic buildup. Yeah, um, these need to get hauled like now because this is inside, right? Yeah, indoors. It's minus twenty-eight degrees. I don't mind about the temperature, but so I need to do a animals, animals and uh, manage area. So add new animal area two. That's fine. Uh, expand allowed area animal area two. You guys have, have just got to stay in here. Actually, even clear allowed area. Expand allowed area just in here. There we go. And actually restrict them. And then I need to check out my guys because minor, minor, moderate. Right, sleazy. Uh, you're not allowed to go outside, okay? Which is a pain because I need to build stuff. But uh, as much as possible, I need you to stay inside. So I need actually to work in another area. Um, restrict, manage areas, new area, rename toxic fallout. Okay, that's the name of that one. We're going to make that the way. We'll copy this and paste it here because I seem to have forgotten to. And then I need to actually expand that zone. So expand allowed area. Toxic fallout. So they're allowed in their rooms, obviously. Right, now what this does, I'm going to flag all the inside areas, basically. Now they will still be able to go outside to get from one area to another which I'm okay with. It doesn't matter if they just quickly run outside to get over here sort of thing. But I don't particularly want them to be spending long amounts of time outside. Which, uh, sorry, long periods of time outside, which means that 
Uh, so for example, I don't want anybody working on this wall unless I specifically tell them to or whatever. And that should do that. So you'll see they'll still go between the rooms and things. Why are we having problems with power now? I suppose because there's less light during the day we maybe get less power. Hypothermia! Yes. Get up, go somewhere warm. Yeah, just... That's fine. Cargo pods. Great, Jade. Nobody's going to be able to collect it for a while. Sleazy, what are you doing? Hauling pigskin pig duster, yes. Uh, what I will do, actually, is not in a loud area. Ah, but Sleazy's, like, pretty... Uh, Losley, you are a good constructor. You've only got minor build-up, so if I go to restrictions, Losley... If I allow you home and tell you to prioritize this, please. There we go. Because I want to get uh, Shalice buried. Otherwise, people are not going to be very happy. And if I can do it without him getting too high up the toxic fallout chain. I'm going to get him to finish building our defensive wall as well. Prioritize burying Chalice, please. There you go. Then you can go off and do something that you want to do. Which is eat. Right, so Chalice. Oh, shoddy. That's fine. Sarcophagus is engraved with an illustration of two pumpkins. The subjects are in front of a plane. The image seems to express decay. Odd, but okay. Uh, mental break, hiding room, Losley has developed health condition, dementia, no way. Complication from toxic build-up. What? But you've only got minor build-up. You've now got moderate build-up. Oh, that's not good. So dementia affects talking and hearing and sometimes he, he'll just be more often to go into daisies and things. Huh. Uh, apparently that's the thing that can happen due to toxic build-up. I thought it only happened at the higher levels. Right, um... Yes, I'm going to have to restrict you again, because apparently you've gone to that point. What are you doing? Moderate build-up as well, but why are you spending so much time outside? Guys, you know what? Everybody, come here. And stop being outside. Seriously, what is wrong with you all? <sighs> Am I going to have to wall up the walkways or something? And they're all just going off to do their own thing now because, yeah. This is going to be a problem. What are you doing, Sleazy? Just wandering. Can you do it inside? Can you guys stop going outside all the time? I don't understand. They should only come down here to go to bed, but they seem to be spending more time outside than inside. I'm getting a bit annoyed about that. I may have to just restrict them to their rooms, but I can't do that. Maybe just this bit up here, not allow them in their rooms. I don't know. I think that might have to be a thing. See what it goes down to. It's like also, he's just wandering and being idle all the time when he could be building these because they're in an area that he's allowed to go and the resources are here. I suppose it's not all the steel's not been hauled. Oh, okay, fine. Fine. Samantha, how's your build up? Only initial. See, she's, she's staying inside. Lumi? None. Excellent. Hypothermia, Stevenson, yes. Serious? 
Well, get up and go and spend some time inside. Sleazy, where are you? What are you doing? Hunting a hauling elk meat to stop zone 2. Well, there's no need to do that. Come and build these. Well, don't build these. Uh, Jax, minor builder, Stevenson, initial. Stevenson, I do believe you are a hauler. Uh, where are we? Stevenson, you are. Restrictions, Stevenson, unrestricted. And I need you to come and haul this steel. A couple of times, that would be nice. Just watch his build up his initial steel. Right. Why just 38? Can you not take more than 38? Apparently not. Why is that? Consciousness weakened, moving weakened, manipulate. Why? Oh, extreme hypothermia. <clears throat> Right, we're going to have to deal with that next time. I've been Maje Luma. I hope everybody's having fun watching this. I was having fun until we got simultaneous toxic fallout and volcanic winter and cold snap. Uh, we'll see if we can actually pull through this. It hopefully will be okay. I'll try and figure out a way to keep everybody inside next time. But yes, so thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.